Tottenham agreed the £26 million sale of Steven Bergwijn to Ajax on Tuesday, but five more stars could potentially be on their way out before Spurs head on their pre-season tour South Korea on Saturday. Daniel Levy and Sporting Director Fabio Paratici have been hard at work introducing new signings this summer but outgoings could be just as important when it comes to restoring harmony in the squad. Antonio Conte's future was momentarily in doubt at the start of the summer, with the Italian seeking assurances from the Spurs hierarchy that their ambitions were on the same page. Several weeks later, four new faces have already been brought in and two more are believed to be in the pipeline. Richarlison and Eve Bissouma have both been signed for hefty sums while Ivan Perisic and Fraser Forster arrived in North London on free transfers. There is hope that Jed Spence and Clement Longley will join them in the coming days, even if a deal for Everton's Anthony Gordon is gradually slipping away. To avoid the squad becoming overcrowded, Conti and Go will need to ruthlessly trim the fat, preferably before full-blown pre-season preparations begin. Bergwijn is already set to bank the club £26 million, with the winger ready to reignite his career in the familiar territory of Amsterdam. One of the first players to follow Bergwijn out of the exit door could be youngster Jack Clark. The Lily Whites shelled out £10 million to sign him from Leeds back in 2019, but the 21-year-old has managed just four senior appearances since, in amongst a series of loan spells elsewhere. Spurs are reportedly open to a permanent exit, with Sheffield United and Sunderland in contention. Conti and co. would undoubtedly be keen for Tonguin Dumoul to find a new home too. The Frenchman is still one of the club's highest earners, but his career has fallen off a cliff since Tottenham shelled out a club record fee to sign him from Lyon in 2019. Dombiel's massive wages may pose a stumbling block to his prospective exit this summer, along with one or two worrying signs during his stint in North London. Most notably, the 25-year-old angered fans by sauntering off after a poor display against Morecambe last term and his work rate has often been criticised. There have been murmurs of a lone move to Galatasaray, but nothing appears imminent. Giovanni Lo Celso is another expensive acquisition that has not gelled with contactical setup. The Argentine went on loan to Villarreal last season, but the Spanish side may not be in a position to shell out for a permanent deal, while Fiorentino have also reportedly entered the equation. Having signed both Bissouma and Rodrigo Bentancur during his first 12 months at the helm. Conti is not thought to have a need for Harry Winks going forward. Everton and Leeds United were rumoured to be interested, but the Toffees have since distanced themselves from the 26-year-old. And the Whites have agreed on a move for Airbay Leipzig midfielder Tyler Adams. Finally, fans held out high hopes for Spanish youngster Brian Gill after he arrived in a swap deal involving Eric Lamella last year. The 21-year-old impressed on loan at Valencia last season, and it is thought that Cadiz are interested in putting together another loan offer so that the winger can gain more experience before being phased into the Spurs' first team. All told, Conti may wish to offload the quintet before his side jet off on Saturday, but finding new homes for each of them, whether temporary or permanent, may be a tall order.